actually going to go to Versailles today. Isn't that beautiful? This is so cute. We made it to another rental. Oh, there's more! Well, it's a little tiny street. This is the Hall of Mirrors. The treaty that ended the American Revolution was signed here. Good morning. We are packing up from our little farm stay rental outside of Paris. We've been in the Versailles area. We're actually gonna go to Versailles today. But I realized we're leaving this little farm stay rental and I don't think I ever showed you guys it. There's a nice living area, three bedrooms and lots of bathrooms. There's actually two toilets and three showers, so plenty of space for us. There's even a little patio out back and the kids have loved visiting with the farmer's dog and cat and seeing their horses. That's definitely been a highlight. One thing I learned at this place is that door stops in France look like this. I kept thinking there was something in the corner of the room and I kept trying to move it and then I realized it's behind all the doors and it's the doorstop. So the trunk is already full and this is what's left. How are we going to do this? Yeah, how are we going to do this? Oh my goodness. Look at you guys all loaded up. I don't know how I'm going to get out. Oh, you don't have to get out. You can just stay in there. <laughs> so we're actually staying at a farm that was once a part of the plains of Versailles. So it's the Versailles land area is like a tenth of what it used to be. Super interesting. You excited to go visit Versailles today? Yeah. Are you more excited about the palace or the grounds? Probably the palace. I did not hear any complaints. All right, we're getting out of the packed vehicle. Uh. And we're here at Versailles. What? in a bit of a line, but we're now entering the gardens. That's how we're starting the day at Versailles. Whoa. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So many trees and pots. So one of the fun things they have going on at the gardens is the musical fountains. So they have this beautiful classical music and it's a water fountain show. There was just this opening that went through the trees that was so inviting. We had to come in this direction and explore. Look at this. Since this world trip began, I've seen so many amazing things. There's so many statues and fountains that it's overwhelming to the point where it almost saturates our ability to appreciate how beautiful and amazing it is. All right, we found a bike Janae's size. Oh, <laughs> with the bell. Here she comes, Neeners. Versailles here to the middle of town where the guillotines were. I believe so. Yep, that's her. She would also stay here. That is such a tiny bed because I slept sitting up. So I read that Marie Antoinette was inspired by Jean-Jacques Rousseau, who at the time was advocating for a return to nature. And so she stepped away from Versailles and created this nature sanctuary. Yeah. They held dinners and went for walks. This is where they came to relax. I feel like we stepped into the medieval ages. Or like Gorgeous. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. There's something sweet. This is so cute. Composed of 10 buildings, small, rustic looking houses, inspired by architectural drawings. Everything was designed to look as though it is real. 
Look at the actual grapes. I don't think we should eat the grapes, but Dad. those are legit. So Marie Antoinette built this quaint little village out here and made it look all rustic and cute. This was the dairy where they had their creams and butters. That was the queen's house over there. Connected, it was two buildings connected by a bridge. What I think is so cool is that she made them and like painted them to look like they were like old and like rustic, the rustic and chipped and like mossy on the yeah. roofs. It's really cool. There was an artist who had paintings that she liked and she wanted the houses to look like that. What's sad though is that they were doing this with a bunch of money when they weren't paying taxes and everybody else was starving. That's what led to a revolution. Jeremy, someday I'm gonna tell you, babe, I want a little garden. This is what I want it to be. So if you say, I want a little village, this is what you want. It's just a little a village, village. I don't need a with village. a lake. Oh, look at the zucchini. Do you remember when we grew zucchini in our first garden when we were first married? Yeah, the little flower bed. We were renting for this place for like $400 a month. The zucchini filled the entire flower bed. And we ate so much zucchini. Zucchini soup, zucchini bread, zucchini things. Look, see the big flower? Yeah. This is a cute little garden. We can have one of these. Do you want flowers in your garden? Yes. Yes, and a rooster. <laughs> For the morning wake-ups like in Switzerland? <laughs> hey, a girl can dream. You can't dream very long when a rooster's growing. Janae found some geese. <laughs> Watch your head, Elise. The bike bells make us all very happy. Perfect weather. Yeah. Isn't this amazing weather? All right, we're doing a quick picture. We found a little bike path. Good job, Laura. Good job. Janae's doing it. Good job, Janae. To Janae for the win. We found a little path off the road. Biking is amazing because it gets us away from all the people and into nature. So me and the rest of the kids went on some paths through the woods. Kendra and Laura did a ride around the entire fountain, which is a huge cross. So we came to Versailles three hours early to explore the gardens. I wish we had more time. I mean, they say it's an all day experience. So how are the grapes? Delicious. Our little picnic out here just reminds me of that Impressionistic painting, it's stippled done of Sunday at the park. I think that's done by a French artist. I'll have to look it up. Heading to the palace. So this is how they're clipping. It's like a mold for the trees. So that's how they get it to look so perfect. So cool. See how this bush is all perfect now? They probably just did it. Yeah. All right, so we jumped. Right in line, we're going right in the palace. Yeah, we've heard lots of stories about long waits. We don't say long wait yet, but maybe the wait's inside. When we came in, the line went all the way down to the like parking lot. So we did the gardens first, and then they're coming. They're coming in. The Sun King. So we have an audio tour that we're listening to as we go through. So because of how vast the palace is, we're really carefully choosing which things to take time on, which rooms to actually listen to the audio tour on. We just don't have time or the kids' attention to do all of that. And luckily, we found bathrooms. And they're free. Of course, the girls' line is always much longer than the boys'. They're getting married in that picture, and the people are 12 and 15. So, could you imagine if you were getting married next year? And Praise you're getting God. married to 
<laughs> Coming into the king's apartment room. Whoa! Yeah. Go grab another tree and throw it on the fire. This is called the Hercules room. So each of the king's rooms had a theme based on a different planet and the Greek gods associated with that planet. It's pretty cool. So all the murals go along with that. There was obviously an ongoing theme of showing how the king was uh, had divine investiture, like God had chosen him to lead the people. That was by Bernini. It can be kind of hard through here to keep everyone all together. There's so many people flooding through. All right, we're getting ready to go into the Hall of Mirrors, probably the most famous section of Versailles. This is the Hall of Mirrors. One, the treaty that ended the American Revolution was signed here, and lots of other wars had treaties for peace signed here. So that makes it a very special place. Salon. If I was designing a house, I'd make them all peace salons. So much gold. The queen's bedroom. They gave birth in this room publicly. Yep. There was always people around them watching what they were doing. Marie Antoinette, when the mobs came, actually escaped from this room through a door right here to go towards the king's chambers. It's crazy. Yeah. Wouldn't that be scary to have a mob coming in? Was there a mob in this room? They were coming in to get her and she escaped through that room to go towards the king. There's a room there? There's a door right there. So Marie Antoinette was actually from Vienna and they have here one of those two eagles which we saw at Stefan's door. Bless you. So last night, Kendra and I stayed up until 2 a.m. nerding out about factoids about Versailles. And some of the most interesting things were about Marie Antoinette. Her children, the deaths of her children, and this painting is actually kind of significant to that story. This painting is very famous. And I love that it depicts a mother with her children. So in this painting, they actually removed one of the children after a death. All right, Janae, you want to go see more of the palace? Yeah, I think I'm done. We're done. We've seen the gold, the lavish, the paintings. We're done. Let's go. We're discovering the new town that we're staying in. There's a castle up on the hill. We're right next to the river. I'm hoping for some good restaurants. Maybe a good bakery. A good cute. park. Well, it's a little tiny street. No wonder we missed it once. We made it to another rental. We are in Les Andelys, France, this little village up north of Paris. Jeremy and the kids are unloading the car, so I'll give you a sneak peek of the house before it gets completely messy. So there's a sitting area, a bathroom back there that goes out to the patio in the backyard. Here's the kitchen with another sitting area. Love this. There's a nice big refrigerator. I'm always looking for that. This patio and backyard. Up a few steps into Jeremy and I's room. And I think, oh yeah, we have a shower. Yay, we have a toilet and a shower. Washing machine, super excited about it. Um, that makes me really happy. Oh my, oh my, Oh, this is an old house. Yeah. Switzerland, that I would never be surprised. <laughs> Backyard? It is. It is very cute. <laughs> Look at um, the roses. It feels very French. I don't it know smells why. so good. It feels like it's smells so good. Oh, there's more. Wow, oh, this just keeps going. We can get on the roof. Uh, no, we can't get on the roof. Hey, they have some fruit. Apples. Yeah. Church steeple. I hope we can hear the bells every hour. I'm sure we will. The bells hear the are bells. gonna go off. Stop to smell the flowers. This is pretty. There's like a cute little shed back there. We're in the town of Les Andelis. And Andelis. I don't know how you say it. Les Andelis. Andelis. And it's this cute little town, and we're down in the very heart of the town. 
which we haven't really done that before. Wait, wouldn't it be pronounced just like Les Mis, Les Andales? Maybe, maybe. Which we were listening to Les Mis, the musical, on the way here, and I was kind of explaining to the kids the story, going through it. This so is this pretty is darling. A, yeah, it's really cute. It is. Who would have thought it has such a big backyard, too? Yeah. I love it. You like it? So is it closing well, at let's see. 7? 7.30. All right, let's go. Isaac and I are on, go to the grocery store and buy a bunch of stuff before it closes in 20 minute duty. Yep. That's what we're doing. I love being in the middle of like such a cute tiny French town. Yeah, it is yeah. pretty adorable. We made it to the grocery store and a bakery before they close. Isaac is at the bakery and grabbing our order. It's just right next door and I'm here trying to figure out how to grocery shop in under 10 minutes in a foreign language. How was shopping? It was great. Um, it was a little stressful like at the end because like mom was like get the sugar and it's like already closed pretty much. So I had to like, I talked to a guy. You figured it out. languages are a little bit tough but I mean I like the stuff in the store. I might want to come back with like a lease. Yeah. I agree. Great grocery store. Awesome help when we needed it. The problem was that we only had like 15 minutes. And, we, and we had no idea what was going on in the store. So we found food. We will not go hungry. I definitely did not come up with some organized dinner plan yeah. at all. What are you girls doing? Oh, I'm, this is Lexi's daughter. And, and I'm two. Playing and I have boys. Looks like you guys found the baby chair. Well, a funny thing about grocery shopping in a different country is you come home with some stuff that's definitely not what you intended to get. Um, and some in a good way and some in a bad way. So the sugar that I bought to put on the crepes, this is definitely not regular sugar. I got it out to put on a crepe and I was like, whoa, what is that? Um, the grapes we got, no clue what kind of grapes these are, but they are phenomenal. I got two like super quick and easy boxes of pasta. One is amazing and one I should have recognized from the picture. Tastes like stinky cheese. Well, Kendra and I went on a date. It was amazing. We went to this beautiful restaurant and just walked through the charming town here. And it was, it was so lovely. It was so nice to have time, just the two of us mm -hmm. and rest and eat good food. Yeah, the owner of the restaurant was there and he was so friendly and the food was amazing. It was just a really good experience. It was an Italian French restaurant. It yeah. was really fun. We're looking forward to resting more this week. Yeah, it's been go, go, go. The last few days, like with only three days in Paris, we were like, let's do Paris. And now we're like, let's relax. Let's sleep and enjoy a small French town. Yeah. Good night, Jay Hausa. This is like a dream come true for Isaac. Yeah! Nice push! What the heck? You got it! 